You are listening to The Bad Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is The Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. It's easier for her to control you. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? It's easy it's easier for her to not have to take accountability and actually for her to step up her game if you're a simp right so what happens is is that when you're a simp it's the path of least resistance for her to deal with you you understand what i'm saying and so when a woman is dealing with a guy who's not a simp a guy who's you know, on some real shit, a guy who's masculine, a guy who stands on his principles, that means that she has to step up her game. That means that she has to put in work. That means that she has to actually uh, do things. But if you're a simp, right, what happens is that she has the upper hand, right? And because you're doing everything for her. Now, this is the ironic part about the whole situation is that you being a simp at the end of the day is something that she is not going to like anyway even though on the front end she wants it to happen that way so on the front end she wants you to be a simp because i was like oh cool i got this weak motherfucker that i could take advantage of right but on the back end she's like damn i got a weak motherfucker you understand what i'm saying so she don't like it no more you right. see? but the thing is what will happen is is that uh women will encourage this because like i said on that front end it's easier for them to deal with you so they, they don't really have to put in any work and It's so funny because so many guys don't realize they've been conditioned to be simps. Like even when I'm on this damn clubhouse app, man, yo, the, the, the nigga, there's so many fucking dudes on clubhouse who are simps. It's mind boggling. Like I had, like, I had no idea. I didn't know that the simping was this heavy in society. You understand? Until I was on clubhouse. I was like, shit, I thought, I thought niggas was, on some real shit, but nah, like these dudes are simping heavy. Now it's not every dude on there, but a lot of, like I was in a room, one of these clubhouse rooms and these guys were like, there's a, there was two guys running the room, right? <laughs> or I think it was like, it was one main guy and another, another side guy running the room. And they were like, you know, I get in the room and, uh, this woman was explaining something about some guy she was dating or whatever it is like that. And I, I, I basically said that, the guy she was dating was weak because of the shit he was doing. Mm. The guy in this in the in the that was running the room, he's like, "Hold on, Miss Lucario, we're not we're not going to say those things. We're not going to talk about the 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 men that this woman is dealing with like that, and that's wrong. And you can't say that type of stuff." And I'm like, "Why not? You understand? Like, why can't we talk this way? Why can't we have these honest discussions, right?" And then every time when I was saying <clears> something <throat> that was contrary to what the woman was saying, they would cut me off. And then they then they would like they like in this room the women go first and the women get to 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 express themselves and you you can't talk first before the woman and I'm like the fuck is this you understand what I'm saying like I'm like yo like these niggas was really talking about yo like this one dude was like you know if I really want a woman I'm gonna go all out I'm gonna outdo the other guy I'm gonna do more than the other guy to show and prove to her that I'm the best man for the job and I'm like what the fuck is wrong with these niggas you understand what I'm saying like these dudes don't even realize that they're simp and having to get again the women are co-signing it because again they like that type of energy and situation but they don't realize that's not what they need see a woman wants a simp but she needs a real nigga do you understand what i'm saying that's what dudes don't get <laughs> you know what i mean that's facts but they they encourage you to be a simp because that's what they want and look at it look at it a baby wants uh, not even a baby let's say a a, a kid you have a a, a 10 year old kid that 10 year old kid wants ice cream for for breakfast you understand? But they need some actual food. You understand what I'm saying? That's how women are. The women are like the kid who want the ice cream. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's what they like. I want the simp. Right? But they need actual food. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? 
And these niggas don't realize that they're being conditioned to be simps. They watch all these fucking movies and shit. They watch, like, even in that show, Invincible. That's the thing that annoys me about that show. I love that show, but you, you know what I'm talking about. The main character, the, the, the kid, Invincible, <laughs> with his girlfriend, and his girlfriend is straight disrespecting this nigga. And he's simping heavy. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, he need to tell that chick, yo, shut the fuck up. I'm invincible, bitch. Like, what the fuck you mean? Like, I got even the, the fucking planet. <laughs> it's like, yo, the fu- that's why I love the, the, the last episode of the first season when his pops was basically explaining mm-hmm. what his mother meant to him. Yes, he said, yo, she's like a pet to me, nigga. The fuck? I'm like, yo. He's like, but, but what about mom? He's like, well, she's she's kind of like a pet to me. I said, nigga. <laughs> I say, yo. I say, yo. He said, but what about mom's life? He said, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't. She, it, her life doesn't matter. I was like, yo, that's she's some like, real shit. some real nigga shit. <laughs> what, bruh? Yo, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Dudes have been conditioned to fucking simp, bro. It's terrible. And so, and they don't even realize this. Cause see, this is the thing. Dudes be thinking, because when I was in that room, then the niggas started talking about toxic masculinity. I had to leave. I was like, I'm out of here. I can't, I can't fuck with this shit. But niggas, they, they've been conditioned to think that if you're not simping, you're disrespecting a woman. That's what they think. Either you simping or you disrespecting a chick. And I'm like, no. You understand what I'm saying? See. The funny part is, is that the simping is actually the disrespect of the chick mm. because you don't respect the chick enough to be a real fucking man. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's the only way that a woman is going to uh, 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 be, be the best she can be is by dealing with a real nigga. That's the only way. You see what I'm saying? I don't understand. Right. These dudes. You think fucking simping and groveling and, and kissing ass and sucking butt and doing all this other shit. You think that's helping? Look, look at look at Derek Jackson. This is exactly what the fuck Derek Jackson been doing. How has that helped these women? It hasn't. And especially the fact when they found out this nigga was cheating and doing all that other shit. Imagine what that did to these niggas, these chicks brains. Imagine how it made them feel. And and it, 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 that's not helping them. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, I'm, I'm, it's crazy. But my, what's, what's your thoughts on all this shit? This is crazy. <clears throat> well, all right, look, see, <clears throat> the thing is with, with, uh, I feel I feel like the reason why chicks um endorse or encourage uh, men to simp is so it for me it really has everything to do with the situation. Mm-hmm. You understand? Um I think in certain situation in certain situations chicks love simping because it gets them over. Right. You understand? Like for example, it's it's like uh and you know um shout out to Bill Burr, because he made he made a really good point about feminism in one of his stand ups. Right. He said that women treat feminism like a fucking buffet mm-hmm. in the same where, you know, it's like they go up to the buffet and they see what they want. So they oh equal pay. I'll have some of that. Right. You know oh, but, you know, doing doing dangerous jobs. You can keep that. Exactly. You know saying, oh, uh, you know, you know, equality in, in, in politics and this, that and the third. I'll have some of that. But, mm-hmm. oh, to go out to to, you know, go out in war and and get my ass shot off. No, you could keep that. Right. You know, and he started talking about how, you know, if the house if the house is, is about to burn down, a man has to make sure that his wife and kids is OK first. Right. Before anything else. Mm-hmm. You know, even in even in, you know, um, in the Navy or in, in the in the maritime um, sector. The captain has to go down with the ship and all the women and children get to leave the boat. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like women, women encourage simping simply based on the fact that. So, for example, like you was talking about in, in the clubhouse. Right. Of course, they want niggas to simp mm-hmm. because they want to get their point across. They want to be heard. They mm-hmm. want to have all the time in the world to make their point. Right. You understand? Right. So they love when niggas simp. But when a when a chick is actually with a dude, like in a relationship, mm-hmm. or even even in a bedroom having sex or whatever, right? Chicks hate men who are not manly. Right. They are not attracted to men who are not manly. They are not attracted to any man that doesn't know how to fucking like talk dirty. That doesn't know how to 
you know, grab them and switch positions and right the shit out of them and give it to them fast, give them to them slow, talk dirty to them. They don't like guys who's on some. Oh, excuse me. Um, do do you think we could change to to back shots now? Right. Well, would it be okay if we um if we switch to missionary now, please? If that's okay with you, right? You know, is it okay if if I if I you know put my finger in your vagina and wiggle it just a little bit? <laughs> Like no woman wants that. None. Right. Exactly. You understand? But in the particular situation, mm-hmm. oh, of course you can simp for me. Why? Because I'm not fucking you, or I'm not looking to you to be the manager of my lifestyle. Right. You understand? And <clears throat> the thing with these women, man, is that the sad part is that some women, like these young women who are coming up in the in the bullshit, like in the you know. Whatever. Thanks for watching and make sure you click the link below or go straight to patreon.com slash Mr. Locario so you can watch all the other bad boy show episodes. And there's also exclusive stuff on the Patreon. So make sure you guys click the link below or go straight to patreon.com slash Mr. Locario.